salbutamol. The salbutamol is also called as the albuterol or asthaline. Asthaline is the brand name. Salbutamol is a selective beta 2 agonist used in acute bronchial asthma or status asthmaticus. It's a selective beta 2 agonist which is used in acute bronchial asthma. It's a first line drug for the reversal of bronchospasm. It's a first line drug for the reversal of bronchospasm. It's a most commonly used bronchodilator. It's a most commonly used bronchodilator because it is most effective. Onset of action is very fast, convenient and relatively safe. So what is the mechanism of action? Bronchial smooth muscles have beta 2 adrenergic receptors. Bronchial smooth muscles have beta 2 adrenergic receptors. So by stimulating this beta 2 adrenergic receptor, salbutamol causes bronchodilatation. That means it relaxes the bronchial smooth muscles. That's why it is used in bronchial asthma. Other actions of salbutamol it inhibits the release of mast cells mediators it inhibits the release of mast cell mediator that means mast cell stabilizing action there is inhibition of exudation and airway edema increase mucociliary clearance and decreases the cough so these are the other actions which are beneficial in the bronchial asthma mast cell stabilizing action it inhibits the exudation and airway edema decreases cough and increases the mucociliary clearance but most important thing there is no effect on the bronchial inflammation because there is no any anti-inflammatory effect there is no effect on bronchial inflammation means it will act as a relievers means it will give a symptomatic um, relief to the bronchial asthma patient there is no effect on the uh, there is no effect on the pathophysiology of the bronchial asthma means it will act as a reliever the salbutamol is a short acting beta 2 agonist is a short acting beta 2 agonist it is selectively act on the beta 2 receptors selectivity increases when it is given as an aerosol or when it is given by inhalational route selectivity towards beta 2 receptors increases and by which devices we can give we can give this salbutamol we can give this salbutamol uh, in the form of aerosol uh, through meter dose inhaler 100 to 200 microgram then you can give meter dose inhaler along with spacer you can give through the nebulizer or you can also, I mean salbutamol is also available in the tablet form 4 milligram, 8 milligram or it is also available in the injectable form you can give sub via subcutaneous route. Then pharmacokinetic properties. The salbutamol produces bronchodilatation within 5 minutes. Salbutamol produces bronchodilatation within 5 minutes when it is given via inhalational route means onset of action is very fast and action lasts for 2 to 6 hours and it is used to abort or terminate the acute attack of asthma or status asthmaticus it is not suitable for prophylaxis it is not suitable for chronic asthma on oral administration salbutamol undergoes extensive first pass metabolism in the gut oral bioavailability is 50% but duration of action is longer it is 4 to 6 hours now what are the adverse drug reactions of the salbutamol muscle tremors it is a beta 2 receptor mediated stimulation of the skeletal muscle that leads to contraction of the skeletal muscle and that's why there is a muscle tremors dose related side effect of salbutamol muscle tremors dose related side effect of muscle tremors then it's a beta 2 receptor mediated contraction of the skeletal muscle then palpitation due to activation of the beta 1 receptor 
which are present on the heart that's why there is a palpitation and tachycardia palpitation and tachycardia because of activation of beta 1 receptor though it is a selectively acts on the beta 2 but there is some action on the beta 1 receptors so beta 1 receptor gets stimulated so there is a tachycardia and palpitation can also be there hypokalemia biochemical pump that shift potassium into the cell that means that shift potassium into the cell means increase intracellular uptake of potassium especially in the skeletal muscle that's why there is a hypokalemia why hypokalemia because biochemical pump it will shift the potassium into the cell from the blood into the cell increase intracellular uptake of potassium especially in the skeletal muscle hyperglycemia because beta 2 mediated gluconeogenesis and glycogenolysis occurs that's why hyperglycemia but the most important thing tolerance it's a potential problem with the beta 2 agonist due to down regulation of the beta 2 receptors caused by continuous exposure of tissue to the beta 2 agonist on regular use of beta 2 agonist or salbutamol tolerance is the problem need of a larger dose of a drug to produce the given effect what is tolerance need of a larger dose of a drug why because down regulation of the beta 2 receptor why because of continuous exposure of tissue to the beta 2 agonist it may also lead to the tachyphylaxis which is acute tolerance or rapid tolerance so not used on regular basis bronchial hyperreactivity is not reduced there is no effect on the bronchial hyperreactivity and it may also cause throat irritation so these are the side effects of or adverse effects of salvitamol.